Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost with her cold still cruising along here. Not too bad. Um, I, I, I feel okay. I just sound like, um, like a train wreck, but otherwise everything is dandy. <laughs> okay, so today is Junk Journal Craft Chat. And wow, you guys sure put a lot of um, uh, comments in the last one. We went up like to five, six hundred, up to 901. So that'll be, that'll be fun. I, I, that's awesome, guys. Thanks so much. Um, so I'm very excited to hear what your questions are today from YouTube. We'll be checking those out, answering some of your crafty questions. And yes, we are making some altered paper clips, a little different style today, uh, just for fun, just for play. Um, so I, I'm going to, let's see, what are we going to do? I'm going to take this, uh, you can take any pictures. It doesn't have to be DigiKids, um, but it can be anything that you like. Maybe you find some pictures from magazines, things like that. And actually, I'm just going to... Oh, my, my cutter is covered with stuff, so messy crafter, messy crafter. I'm going to do the old the hand cutting technique, maybe cut out a few pictures, and just turn them into some really cute paper clips, pretty quick and easy, and we'll just decorate them up and have some fun. So, hope your day is going well. Let me, let me look over as I'm making these, and we can uh, answer some questions. Shelly Williams of Williams & Company asks, will you share your gesso rep recipe with us? Um... Of course. Um, okay, so I think I have a video on that, and you probably uh, just go to my main uh, YouTube channel homepage and put in the little search field, which is identified by a magnifying glass. Um, you just put the word in there, like gesso, and it should come up. And I think I, I think I, I did one on clear gesso and white gesso. But and if I remember correctly, because it was a while ago, I think it was basically. Um, like flat white paint and cornstarch. Yeah. There you go. And well, and probably a little water to dilute it down. Um, I, ca I can't remember exactly off the top of my head because I haven't made it in a while. And uh, it's nice to knock back um, the shine on things if you have shiny pages or things like that. Um, it also gives nice tooth to whatever you're going to be Drawing on, painting on, writing on. If you paint something with gesso, it's a way that um, artists prime their canvases uh, so it can have a nice, um, I guess a gritty, not gritty, but um, a, a toothy surface so that the paint will will stick and it won't bubble up and peel off and things like that. So um, there you go. I hope that, I hope that helps. Uh, Jody McKnight says, love this. Um, she's talking, I believe, about the Dragon, Easy Dragon Lore did, uh, junk journal. Love this. Do you have any pages with pagan, witch, grungy, scary things? I have, um, like, witch, grungy, scary things in Halloween. Um, so check out the Halloween ones. You might find some things that might suit your needs right there. I don't specifically have a witch or a pagan one, but um, I do have some of those uh, things in Halloweens. And I think I have two or three Halloweens. I'm going to do some fussy cutting. This is a rare event at the Paper Outpost. She rarely fussy cuts, but I'm going to fussy cut some of these because I think these are fussy cuttable. Um, not Okay, I'm not super fussy cutting. I'm just like lightly fussy cutting. But there's a lot of butterflies and moths and things like that. Here, this is called Wings of Wonder. And this other one was um, Flowers of Fantasy. There you go. If you were looking for those digi kits in my Etsy shop, they're printable downloads. Uh, um, just, just in case everybody's looking for them. Um, uh, but like I said, you can use any pictures, uh, but sometimes it's fun to have themed things if you're making a specific type of journal. But gosh darn it, I just need, I just need some pretty pictures to make some altered paper clips with. So I'm just going to cut these out quickly. I know a lot of you are cringing, going, no, no, Pam, that's not how you do it. Turn the paper, not the scissors. I break that rule all the time because I'm, I'm just the world's worst fussy cutter. Okay, there I have one. And... Um, it just, I don't know, to me, it's like, oh my God, I got to cut this out. But you could also, you could do, you could shortcut things. And I'll, okay, so I'll show you how to shortcut things. Not with a digi kit, but sometimes with other things where you don't have to cut it out because it's already cut out, which is kind of fun. Um, and let's just show you that option too. So let's just get a couple pictures here going. Just got a few ready. And then let me grab plan B. For the lazy crafter in me, because she exists too. All right, what do we got? Stickers. <sighs> yeah, stickers um, that come loose like this are already uh, 
they're already fussy cut for you in a way, which is kind of nice, and it makes life a lot easier. So let's just kind of play with these ideas. Maybe these are some strips of cutoffs from my sh shipping and packaging, uh, and I think I'm just going to... Oh, I'll do three. I'll make smaller ones this time. I can make smaller ones. I can. They don't always have to be big ones. Now, the bases don't have to be that big. That's the thing. So your picture can be big, but your base doesn't have to be that big. Let's go a little closer. Get up close and personal here. And let's make one of these. Okay, we're going to fold this in half. We're going we're gonna to attempt. And I'm going to get my glue going here. I'm going to be using... Uh, this good old stuff, Fabrifix, clear silicone glue, glues fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. Um, it's a nice, friendly little glue. Uh, okay, no. Put your paper clip on first, Pam. You should have learned this. Put the small loopy on the inside for ease. And you can also do it like this. There's no right or wrong way to do this. You're just sort of doing it. And as long as this fits, that's good. And if you don't want the paper clip to hang down below, make your paper longer. That's the way out of that. Okay, we'll just do this one like this. Okay, there we go. And we'll do that little base. And maybe we'll do this one. He's kind of pretty. Just put him on here. I'm trying to fi figure out, like, okay, if he's going to go on the page, probably want to glue him like that. So maybe I'll put the glue on here. And then we'll put that guy there. Am I recording? I hope so. Okay, and then we have that there. Maybe we're going to do a little inking. Seems to need it. I'm going to do some pink. Pinking! Pinking! I know that's not what pinking means, but I'm going to be ink, not my brown, inking with pink today, and it's going to be Distress Oxide Worn Lipstick is the color. Here's my little beaten up, worn out pink dauber, which is so full of life. <laughs> They're so full of ink, actually, which is kind of nice. So now I have a nice little pink hue going on there. That's kind of cute. And then I thought I'd just bring some bling into the picture. Maybe we'll just put a little few, like, shinies on it just for fun and let's see what we got we got okay i'm just picking some coordinating colors here little ones big ones okay you can put contrasting ones you can put similar ones they just have some tiny what clear ones like where'd you go you were right there and you vanished right oh there you are is that you no oh it must have been that backwards okay well, i got this this is pretty too okay so i have pink that would look nice on there and i think the clear would look nice um, probably better to do this with tweezers, but, oh, maybe I'll get the tweezers if I need to. Okay, so this one I'm going to do, I'm going to put the, put this down. Maybe I'll put two on here, just for fun. Maybe this is where tweezers would come in handy. Okay, let's put that down. Put it down, face down. It's a little tricky with the fingernails, but, you know, the committed find a way. Here we go. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Yep, down. Okay. Now these are all the same size. Sometimes these come in different sizes, which is nice, but not today. Okay, come here. Come here. We're going to chase you around the table for an hour. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay, we call that done. Just cute little guy. Ready to go. Okay, next question. Oh, we're going to be picking scrappy contest winners. Did I not say that? I'm sorry. Fabric scrappy contest winner. Paper scrappy contest winner will be coming up today. Okay, so, um, and you guys are claiming your prizes. Thank you. Yes, it's very awesome. So if you win the fabric or the paper scrappy contest, all you do is you email me what contest you won and your full, or not your full name, but your name and address so I know where to mail your prize to. There we go. And um, I don't put the winner in the description. I only, it's only revealed if you watch the video. So if it's your name in the video, then you are the winner and you have until next Thursday um, to let me know you won and I will mail that off to you. Okay. So let's do another option here while we answer a question. Jody McKnight asks, love this Dragon Lore junk journal idea. Oh, no, I asked that or I answered that already. Just pay attention, Pam. You've got fog brain. Just carry on. Keep going forward. This too shall pass. Okay. Uh, Dylan asks, love these clips. Question, how would you use acetate? Oh, I have a video on how I used acetate. It was actually... Um, Shabby Dabby Duda's alphabet challenge, and it was letter A, and I picked acetate, or she gave us, I can't remember, she gave us the word, or we had to pick something. So I picked acetate, and I, I showed some things where you can take a piece of acetate and put it in an embossing folder and run it through your 
embossing machine, like your die cutting machine. I have a Sizzix Big Shot. It's an old school crank handle thing, and I crunch it through there, and it, and it actually embosses the the uh, acetate. That looks really, really cool. Yeah, so I would highly recommend playing with that. Where's one of those butterflies? Let's bring one of those in here. Okay, so this one we're doing here. I'm going to put you on an angle. Then we're going to ink you first. Let's give you a little ink. Sometimes the, the inking of the white areas will reduce the obviousness of the poor quality fussy cutting. I feel like I have brain fog with this cold. I have like seven socks stuck in my head. Um, but I'm, I feel remarkably well, so don't, don't worry about me. I'm okay. Um, I'm functional. I'm doing things, going places. Um, uh, have energy. I feel good. It's just a little um, sound like my mother. God, that kind of like that. Um, trying to pick some. These are a sticker that I think might. Not that one. I have to, might have to try some on for size here. Which one? No, no. No, no, no. We may or we may not find one. Okay, what's this? Always be happy. That's a nice one. Oh, that's kind of cute. We'll put that there. Do, 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 do. Okay, there we go. Can't, can't hum, right? Then. That's not good. Okay. There we have that. Maybe one more little thing. I don't know what. Um, maybe you? I'm bringing, picking you up again. I think you're two. You are two. Okay, I just layer them like a little collage. There, that, that looks fun. Okay. Okay. There. And do we want to do anything on that? Sure, why not? Why don't we put some doodads or something? This is an interesting little connection of doodads. I guess it's a, kind of a rainbow, metallic, shiny. I, they're just pretty. We'll put one of these on there. I don't know what you call them, but they're, they're cute. Okay, we'll just try and put it right. How about here? Here's a good spot. Right there. Small, isn't it, for you guys? Let me bring closer. Okay. Whoa! Gonna try and pick that up. Where's the. Where are. Feeling? Here somewhere. Cute uh, tweezers? Nope. They're probably right in front of me, and you're going, they're right there, they're right there. I can't see them. Okay. Oh, I see them now. They're way over here. Okay, picking you up. Chasing you okay, lightly. Nope. There. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I right, just a little... Oh, well, that's a little close. Sorry. Back it up. A little collage. Okay. We got two done. We're going good. Let's answer another question. And... And with acetate, you can obviously like, make pockets and windowed things with... Uh, you can make slides. You can make a um, uh, little shaker uh, pouches, things like that. Those are a lot of things that you can do with acetate. I should probably bet, do another one with acetate. I haven't done any, one with acetate in a while. How? Okay, Gloria Hode asks, how on earth do you do the videos when you are so under the weather? I just do them. There's really no secret. I just like plop myself in the chair. And uh, because honestly, what I would be doing is this anyway. So why not just record it because I can't sit there and do nothing. I always have to be doing something or I get bored really easily. So I'm either packing fundals or making, I'm packing, actively packing fabric packs right now. I'm about halfway packed and I like to have them all packed and ready. So when you guys order them, I can just print the labels and pop them in the mail right away to you. So there's no like downtime, that type of thing. And um, so I'm about halfway the cutting of those makes takes the longest, honestly. So it's just um, a little bit of footwork on my my end there. This is pretty. We'll put you on there. We'll put, let me give you some brown around the edges, and you could do some fussy cutting around this. It might look cute, actually. Let's give it a go and just see. Okay, or just the top and the bottom, just to give it a little something. Hmm. Okay. Is my lens clear? A funny feeling. Okay, I'm coming in. Cleaning. I hope I don't click anything off. Okay. Better? I think that's better. Sorry if there was a smudge. Um, okay, so we have this. We're going to glue that on the back. Somebody asked about the hidden paper clips. We can do that again, too. That will come up in a future junk journal craft chat. And um, there, just kind of center that. 
And oh, I also have, yes, yes, you guessed it. Nouveau drops or liquid pearls or, you know, that, there's one other thing. I forget what it is. The liquid pearls, nouveau drops, and stickles. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to put, let's go closer. All right. Oh, he would look really cute on there right there. Right? I know. Okay, let's just do it. He just wants to be there. All right, you're going to be, you're going to be there. You're going to pretend like you're sitting on the corner of that flower or that leaf, whatever you are. There you go. Everything's good. All right, this what color? It is Copper Penny, Crystal Drops, Nuvo, Nuvo, N-U-V-O, Crystal Drops. Okay, so let's maybe just go down this side. And down up, 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 down up. And I think that's good. And I think I'm just going to leave it like that. And that's really cute, right? Okay, so over there, Dunsies. Yeah, so these kind of come together pretty quickly. Um, minimal effort and uh, maximum return. We like that. All right, what's another question? We have, okay, we did that one. Then we have uh, how, oh, um, okay, I think I answered that one already. Um, okay, I'm pretty sure I answered that one. Oh, okay, I think I explained this, where did I explain it in a, podcast okay so somebody's asking with the handmade diary tour the how did i hide the stitching and the signatures in the spine and basically i constructed the cover stitched in the signatures i'm trying to think no i probably took a piece of uh, i had the spine separate as a piece of cardboard i'm guessing yes i did and um so I sewed my signatures into this piece of cardboard, which was the spine. And then I had my cover, the spine area, and then the back cover. And I, I, I laid that down, and then I put a piece of uh, white bed sheet and laid it down and covered the entire thing. I'm not explaining this well because I actually covered it from the back. I'll show you. I actually have videos on that, and it will be better explained. I'm not in my best explaining mind right now, but basically I just covered it with fabric. I covered the entire cover and the, and the, um, the strings are underneath the cover. That's where they are. So um, I'll show you that and or I'll put a link to a video that explains that better because I do have some videos on that. Crepe Myrtle Journal asks, how many journals are in your coffee table trunk? How many journals did you make before you decided to sell one? As you look back at your journals, which ones fell apart and why, if any? Uh, yeah, okay, great questions, um, Crepe Myrtle. Um, how many are in there? Uh, as many as it takes to fill up that coffee table. I have no idea. Probably, I would guess around 50, 60 maybe. And um, how many journals did you make before you decided to sell one? I probably made journals, honestly, for about three years maybe before I sold one, if I had to guess. And um, as you look back on your journals, you don't have to wait that long. That was, I had no intention of selling them, you know, so I just didn't. So that, that number really means nothing. You can make your first one and sell it. So just know that. Um, as you look back at your journals, which ones fell apart and why, if any? Yeah, I keep a lot of my old ones t for learning purposes. And I go back and I see where things didn't come together right, why signature are off, why the glue pages fell apart, what kind of glue did I use that gave way, and it was really a learning curve to find out what glues I liked, and I have found that I, this is a reliable, very strong glue for me and my purposes. Um, I also, as you, uh, you might know, I use um, Scotch Create glue stick. I have no affiliation with these companies, I, these are just the glues I like. It's a permanent glue stick. It's kind of a, it's a waxy, smelly sort of gooey glue stick, but it really, it grabs well and holds tight. Nothing, ha you know, I mean, these books are obviously not indestructible as any book, but um, I would say that where I tried to use an El Cheapo glue stick, that's where things tend to fall apart. Um, especially if they have any weight or strain on them. So if it's something that has pull or flex or with a fold or an extension or an accordion or anything like that, that baby's probably going to pop off if it's a regular glue stick. And, and I had no luck with the, um, the Dollar Tree Jot brand glue stick. It was as if there was no glue stick there at all. Put stuff on, come back later, it just, it would be like, um, it'd be like this. 
It'd be something like this. It'd be like, uh, okay, I glued that down. No, you didn't. <laughs> it would be like that. Um, so yeah, so a lot of it is finding your favorite glues, finding which ones actually hold, which ones don't. Also learning how much strain a fold or a crease can handle before the paper tears or gives way. That's a big one because if you wrap your cover in a piece of paper and then you start flexing that cover open and closed, that paper is going to wear right at the seam and it's going gonna, it's gonna to crack and pop. And um, so I started incorporating fabric around those heavy, intense spine folds. And that, that really helped because the fabric is much more, has much more integrity and flexibility than paper. So uh, to bridge the spine to the cover on the front and the back, it's very advantageous to use fabric. You can, you can use paper like in the center of the spine on the inside or the outside, but um, to have the fabric reinforcement is golden. I mean, it just makes things so much easier. Um, you can do smaller journals, little tiny booklets, little notebooks, you know, just by taking a, um, you know, cardstock or a piece of, couple pieces of paper and folding them in half and it's not going to be a huge issue with just something small like that. But if you have, if you have something with weight, like a bigger journal, um, you know, something with, let's, let's talk weight here. Okay, this is weight, right? This is covered in fabric. Uh, because m one reason it, it's going to stay together, which is kind of nice. Um, now, if you had something like this, here was just a, a one signature journal, but I reinforced the spine with a piece of coffee dyed flour sack um, fabric to give it extra strength. So this is actually a white envelope, that a big white envelope from the mail that got folded in half and then reinforced with that fabric and that will not let that paper tear. It's, it's like the answer to so many woes. Um, there are probably a million other ways to reinforce um, and um, they, there, there are. Uh, and I think I've shown some too as well, but I just fa fabric, fabric is, truly is your junk journaler's friend. Um, okay, so um, what else didn't? What else fell apart? Maybe if I put on a corner protector, a metal one, and I clamped it down, but I didn't glue it, it might have come off. I learned that it's important to probably put a couple drops of glue in there before you clamp, squeeze it down to make sure that it grabs and that it has a better chance to stay. Um, and little things on your cover, make sure that they're glued well if you want, because remember it's going to be handled on the outside. So you want to make sure that stuff on the cover is very well anchored. And also sometimes if you have a lot of little intricate things on your cover, like maybe a bunch of, um, flat back pearls and things like that, 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 uh, might pop off. Make sure you put a little, even if they come with a sticky back, put, take the extra effort and put that little drop of glue down there. And, um, that will make sure that it stays or even lay layer a thin piece of sheer something over the top and adhere it to the edges so that it anchors everything. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of different ways that you can get around things like that. So, and, um, oh, Sunny is right here. How nice that is that? All right. So let's, let's go ahead and pick our, oh, we made a whole three. Boy, we were dandy today. Um, okay. Let me, let me bring over, hold on. Okay, we are going to pick, we have, see, we have 901 comments. Wow, that's amazing. Thanks, guys. Um, okay, now, uh, you can comment as many times as you want, and you can also comment if you already won something. So there you go. Uh, we're picking the Fabric Scrappy Contest winner. Here we go. Look for your name. Look for your name. Look for your name. It's going to pull up a bunch of names. Janet Poe, congratulations. Way to go. You won. Out of 901 people, you will be winning the Fabric Scrappy Contest. Way to go. Now we are going to pick another winner, and this will be for the Paper Scrappy Contest. Okay, here we go. The Paper Scrappy Contest. Who wins that? Who wins that? Who wins that? Aaron Tube 360. There you go. Bravo, bravo. Um, okay, so um, those are the winners. Let me just spot my machine over here. Okay, that's good. Oh, there's my mess. Yep, there it is. It's real. It's live. This is this is reality, folks. Um, actually, it's not bad. I'm I'm strangely proud of that um, because that's not bad. I actually have space. <laughs> um, okay, I will clean it up. I promise. Oh, I almost stuck my finger. Out. Okay, see, so these are the three we made. How pretty they are. Just different different ways you can make these so easy. And also, let's bring up Mr. Bun of Sunniness. Oh, sorry. There's my mess. Okay, snuffers. Do you have something to say? Yeah, I have a little thing to say. Oh, you, you sound a little squeaky too. Yeah, 
Like mother, like son, you know, it goes, it gets around in the family. One person's got it and the whole family's got it. Here we go. Hello. Hello, everybody. This is Sunshine. I'm falling deep into my bass tenor voice because my alto voice, my soprano is completely gone. Back to the debt tenor. Okay. Okay. So this is the deal. Um, um, what's the deal, mom? What am I talking about? Give me anything. Give me a topic. What? Um. What has Sunshine discovered recently? Okay, well, Sunshine has discovered that he likes sleeping with our family members, right, that are visiting. Yes, yes, I do. And no offense to you, Mom, none at all, but they're very snuggly and cuddly, and they play with me, Mom. They play with me, yeah. And they play fetch, and they play um, give Sunny snacks, can you tell that? I mean, that's very meaningful to me. And they play, take Sunny for a walk. <laughs> and, and, and what else do they play? Take Sunny to the park. Yes. Yes, they do. I, they're pretty awesome, aren't they? They're so awesome, Mom. You should, like, have them move in forever. Okay, well, we'll ask them, all right? But they came a long way. I don't know if they can come forever. Well, did you could you at least ask, Mom? Just give it a go. Okay, I'll, I'll share my kibble. They can have, like, one kibble to my ten. Yeah, I would be okay with that. <laughs> you would, would you? She also scratches me behind my ears. Really? Yeah. <sighs> okay. <laughs> well, that's like some stiff competition. I'm going to have to up my ante here a little bit. Yeah, I really think you should. I think you're slacking. Okay, I got it. I got the message. Happy crafting, everybody. Talk to you next time. Bye. Okay. Oh, I'm a, I'm a horrible mother. <laughs> Apparently, I've been ignoring my boy. Okay, we have to play. We have to cuddle him more. I always feel guilty like I'm not playing with him enough. I play with him all the time. Um, but it never feels like enough. Okay. All right, son. We'll, we'll, we'll do something fun today. Um, so there you go, folks. Now, here comes the totally exciting part. If you don't know, I have a free monthly email newsletter. Um, if... You, you get a free digital image emailed to you every month, a note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it, a checklist of supplies to keep your eyes open for in the world when you're looking for junk journal things, and a page list of ideas to break the blank page, four different ways to use them. If you watch my videos related to that uh, list, it's called the Never Endless Page List Ideas or something like that. And also, also... I have videos. I know. I know. They come out <laughs> Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. I have podcasts. I talk about junk journals, paper crafting, life of a crafter, and answering your crafty questions. And those come out Tuesdays and Thursdays with new audio material. And on the other days of the week, you're also going to find uploaded a video podcast, which you can watch on Spotify. And I sell in my... I have an Etsy shop. Yes. Yes, I do. And uh, in there... Um, let me go closer on these. These are kind of cute. And uh, I sell, when I have them done, journals, junk, junk journals, and kits, and packets, and all sorts of fun things when they're available. And really coming up soon, I'm going to have a journal for sale and a bunch of fabric packs for sale. So stay tuned. I'm, 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 you know, you ever see that commercial where the guy's like got himself by the scruff of the neck and he's like dragging himself forward? That's okay. No, I'm not that tired. I'm just kidding. I'm overreacting. But uh, I will go ahead and put um, those up for sale soonish like yeah okay I'll let you know when um, and uh, I do sometimes put things for sale without notice I pinched my finger what were you doing scissors I think it was scissors yeah I was cutting fabric that's what it was I okay I have blisters from cutting fabric that's my fabric blisters see that it's real it's happening they are being cut and uh, what else um, I sell fundals which are collections of old and interesting papers, if you like antique ledger, old checks, receipts. Um, uh, oh, for example. Hang on, lost my microphone. Um, old postcards, old hand uh, written letters, um, old piano player stuff, just really cool packets of interesting old book pages, fun things to use in junk journals. If you're a historian or a collector of any type, you're gonna find some really cool items in there. And also um, just just some interesting things to oogle at, fun things to tuck 
if you like to do the old world style um, ephemera junk journals. And um, that go, comes with free priority mail shipping. I also have a print and mail service. If let's say you want to get the digi kits, the printable, downloadable images. Did I talk about those yet? Maybe not. Um, but if you if you like the um, wings, this is Wings of Wonder. The other one was Flower Fantasy, and um, I have over 200 now, themed, five pages each. They're uh, JPEG files. You can uh, download them and print them out at home. Use them in your artwork any way you like. You can sell them um, in your artwork and also. Um, um, uh, what? Oh, if you don't want to print them, uh, or you don't have a printer, I will print them for you in packs of, uh, sets of 10 digi kits. I only need the names, or the first two or three words for each name, and, um, uh, just send me that, uh, list of 10. Just buy the print and mail option. You don't need to buy each individual digi kit. Just buy the print and mail option. It's a one flat fee. It includes free priority mail shipping. You get 50 printed pages on lightweight cardstock. And you can send the list of the, the digi kits that you want to Pam at thepaperoutpost.com, my email address, or in, write an Etsy message. You can just go one, two, three, five, seven, ten, and give me your list of ten, and then I will send those off to you. And um, what else? I'm going to say something else about them. Um, and I totally forgot. Okay. Uh, I have an Amazon shop. If you're looking for favorite tools and supplies that you see me use here on the the um, program, then I put links for those, the ones that I can find in my Amazon shop. And um, I have a t-shirt shop, if you like the phrase, create with reckless abandon, or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, um, you can get that on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, um, a zip hoodie, a mug, a tote, or a water bottle. And most, oh no wait, not most of all yet, um, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. And uh, you can, you can, um, Oh, in the Facebook, we're doing, it's called the Paper Outpost Facebook group. Come on over and join it. It's, uh, we do weekly and monthly challenges as well as seeing what you guys make from these video ideas. Very fun. Very inspirational. If you need um, some ideas, awesome place to go check out. You're welcome to lurk as well as um, uh, post things related to those topics. And um, remember, most of all, that fun can be simple. I create with reckless abandon, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.